Hello again guys, today we're going to do an interesting unboxing. This is a brand new device, this is the Blue Vivo 5. Blue actually reached out to me. They saw several of my videos where I was taking a look at Blue devices. I do have reviews on those devices coming up, so be on the lookout for that. But this is a new device they announced at CES. Now the Vivo 5, as you can see, has a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display, 720p resolution, Gorilla Glass 3, an octa-core 1.3 gigahertz processor, Android 5.1 lollipop, 4G LTE, 13 megapixel rear-facing camera, 5 megapixel front-facing camera, 32 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of RAM, and a 3150 milliamp hour battery with quick charge. So this actually sounds Sounds pretty decent. In a lot of ways it sounds like the other blue devices I've looked at, but 32 gigs of storage, 3 gigs of RAM, and a 3000 plus milliamp hour battery is wow. So rifling through the box here really quickly, we see the phone. Interestingly enough, we have a USB Type-C to full-size USB adapter, a USB Type-C cable, your USB wall wart, capable of 5 volts at 2 amps, a pair of white metal earbuds, presumably aluminum, SIM ejector tool, white frosted silicone case, dual SIM installation guide, quick start guide, and screen protector. Now taking a quick look at the phone itself, you can see all of those specs we listed on the front. I forgot to mention the 6.9 millimeter thin aluminum unibody design, and just feeling it in the hand, you can definitely tell that is very, very thin and that is solid aluminum. Let's go ahead and do what everybody loves. Let's peel this stuff off. There you go. Oh, and there's one on the back too. Very nice. And so in case you didn't notice it, this appears to be the gold color. Not bad, kind of understated. It's got a little bit of bling to it, but not too much. Here's your rear facing 13 megapixel camera with flash, front facing 5 megapixel pixel camera, 5.5 inch 720p display, USB type C port on the bottom with actual bottom facing speakers, very nice there, volume marker and power button on the right hand side, SIM tray on the left hand side, 3.5 millimeter jack on the top, and that's about it. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this thing up. But there's your traditional setup screen, took a total of about 40 seconds to actually start up, and you'll notice we're not seeing any 5 gigahertz networks. Alright, we'll go ahead and skip everything else, come back to that later. But so far this looks an awful lot like the Vivo XL, gives you that slide up to see the control center slide up on the effective area to open the desktop menu. And yeah, the OS looks identical to the Vivo XL. Down here you've got system settings, desktop settings, wallpaper launcher, go into settings. Oh, it does mention a wireless update is available. This is a 38.6 megabyte update, so it's not gonna be massive. APN settings fixes. I'll go ahead and download that and do it here in just a minute. But down at the bottom, just so you can see ahead of time, Android version is 5.1. Android security patch level is from December 2015. It does show an Arch 64 eight core processor with 1.3 gigahertz, 32 gigs of ROM, three gigs of RAM, 1280 by 720 resolution and a 5.5 inch display. And apparently just swiping in different places does things differently because swiping closer to the bottom gets you that whole control center I was familiar with from the Vivo XL. So this is pretty much identical to the Vivo XL except it does have three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. So you've got your fake call option, easy way to get into the settings, and all of the other things you've come to expect. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take some time and spend with this. It'll seem like a very short amount of time for you guys, but I will be back with full review on this before too much longer. So thanks so much to Blue for sending this out for me to take a look at. Thanks to you guys for watching. Remember to leave a thumbs up below this video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more of my videos when they become available. We'll see you again next time you working on it. I just haven't gotten there yet. But there are a lot of people that picked that up for 30 bucks and had immediate problems with it because one, you cannot adjust the eyes. You can't adjust the focal distance and the pupillary distance and everything.